This is my first experience at Wei uh, Jiao South Station, catching a train down to Hong Kong side, Kowloon West. Now this is just a train station in the middle, nowhere significant. And there are so many trains coming through here that you're not allowed to enter the gates until 12 minutes prior to departure. Everything more or less runs like clockwork here. Here we go, the mad dash of non-people queuing. These are the high-speed railways in China. Head on time, 118. Just some information. China built 40,000 kilometers of this high-speed railway network in 10 years. Just a small comparison. The UK has taken more than nine years and still haven't finished the HS2 one line London to Birmingham, costing at the moment 80 billion pounds. Right, you're wondering why everyone is still masked up here. It's out of courtesy. It's not compulsory. But when in crowded places, everyone seems to be, not everyone, 90% of people seem to be um, masked up. I'm in my seat. Very comfy. Plenty of leg room. Sit down table. And uh, this is the first time for me on a bullet train. This was the last minute spur of the moment. Day trip to Hong Kong. First stop, go to Mong Kok for the food, toy shops, gadgets, and ladies market. Then of course, you can't go to Hong Kong without taking the Star Ferry across the Victoria Harbour. It's one of the most iconic things in Hong Kong and it's a nice cheap uh, little day out. As far back as I can remember, these ferries are identical for 50, 60, 70 years and they still use the rope to moor the boat either end and all these years it still fascinates me to stick my head out and watch them do it. And now off to the underground and go back the way we came. We only went to take the ferry just for the hell of it. This is your typical underground station with lots of shops and food and supermarket, what have you. And now we're in Sham Shui Po Market which is another favorite place of mine. It's just full of uh, gadgets, secondhand goods, electricals. And further down, we're gonna head into the um, Golden Computer Arcade, which is two shopping centers dedicated to PCs, Playstations, Xbox. If you're into all that, this is actual heaven. Every platform you will find something here. PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, PC gaming, 
um, all these hardware things that I don't understand ROMs, RAMs, cables, fans Many sci-fi fans flock here to take this lighting strip because it was in Scarlett Johansson's Ghost in a Shell movie. And now we're in Temple Street Market, very famous for the market and the street food around here. Still fairly popular, although many stores have closed down and never reopened after Covid. It's very noticeable that the economy hasn't fully recovered in Hong Kong since Covid with the empty shops and the stores at Temple Street Market. I mean, in the old days, you couldn't even squeeze through Temple Street Market. There were so many people. But now it seems like uh, it's a very sad sight to see because this definitely is part of Hong Kong. Ladies Market, Temple Market. Thank you very much for taking time to watch my very amateur vlog again and hope to catch up with the next one. Thank you very much.